This is a fun video because I took a look at the best-selling skincare products at Sephora and I picked out my favorites to share with you. get started this video is sponsored by Sephora and it's just in time for the Sephora holiday savings event if you're not already signed up for the Beauty Insider program I highly encourage it they have different tiers where you get different access and discount codes like Rouge members get the highest discount code and then there are VIB members and insiders so if you've ever taken a look at the sephora.com website you can click over onto their best-selling products and you can narrow it down to different categories like makeup hair care or skincare, which you guys know is my favorite category. And then it pulls up this huge list of products that people are buying. I decided to take a look at that list and I picked out all of my personal favorites, products that I've used in the past that I've really loved, products that I continue to use, and even newer products that I really think are worth taking a look at. So let's get into these products and talk about why I like them. So first up, this one is not a surprise. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm. This is their Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. You guys know I love this stuff. I have a whole video about how to use it when you do a double cleanse. It to me is one of the most perfect feeling cleansing balms and it's because it has a really nice sorbet-like texture. You scoop a little bit up, it just melts down nicely, and it also has enzymes in it that help to slightly exfoliate your skin. I think if anything, it really just helps to cleanse your skin even more. Whenever I recommend this to people, they all love it. I almost never hear anything negative about this. Not to mention it won a Mixed Makeup Facebook group beauty award this year, which is a whole new thing that we're doing. This turned out to be the number one cleansing balm among our members. Next up on the best sellers list is this cleanser from Tatcha, this is the rice wash, and it is probably one of my favorite cleansers to launch this year just because it has this really nice texture to it. I think what I'm starting to learn about myself is that I love cleansers. I love trying cleansers. I like creating cleansers. I like to just try a lot of different cleansers. I love the texture. I love that different cleansers can give you different results, which is always surprising because, you know, you see a lot of people say like, it's a cleanser, like don't put too much thought into your cleansers, but Cleansers are a big deal. You want a cleanser that won't strip your skin. It sets the tone of your entire skincare routine. You want it to clean everything off of your face without making it feel tight. You want it to have the right pH, but you also want it to be a luxurious experience because it can be fun to use a cleanser. So I love this one because it has this really nice foamy lather. And you guys know I'm not into foam cleansers, but this is a little bit different. It feels like a rich lather that it gets and it has this grainy texture, but it feels really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel like it's stripping your skin. It doesn't feel like it's tearing at your skin. It just feels nice. It's got like this mix of like a creamy texture with a foamy texture. And I think it's just a very special, special cleanser. I love this stuff. Next up is this Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. It is such an interesting product. This product is a toner, but it's also a moisturizer so it has the effect of a moisturizer it actually can moisturize your skin and give you that combination of hydration and moisture that you need for your skin I think it's amazing to add this into your routine in the colder months especially when your skin starts to feel a little bit dry the key to me for dry skin is to really layer the hydration and the moisture and you get a chance to do that with this kind of a product because it has that kind of a texture to it it's really hard to explain it almost feels so light and watery that you don't think it does much but as you put it onto your skin you realize just how milky it really is and soothing to your skin I wasn't sold on this product I thought it was just a lot of hype but then the hype got so strong that I was like I think I need to try this product and as soon as I bought it I was like this is amazing. I see why people love this. It's so easy to incorporate into your skincare routine and it really just feels so nice on your skin. What makes it different from other toners is it doesn't feel like it just goes away and absorbs quickly. You feel like you've got this nice, hydrated, slightly moisturized feel. It's almost like if you're wearing a light oil and I don't, I don't want it to sound like it feels like oil on your skin, it doesn't. But I can't really figure out a way to describe it otherwise. It just feels like you've got something very cushiony on your skin and I really love it. One thing I do want to point out is that it, I, you know, I keep saying that it moisturizes your skin. This is not a moisturizer and it's not so thick that it's going to be hard to put on like your serums afterwards. That's what makes it so unique is it gives you that feel of like, 
like something locked in with the hydration, but it doesn't feel so heavy that you can't continue on with your skincare routine. It just feels really nice and soothing. And you know, milky, like cream skin is a really good name for it because it is kind of like a milkiness that it has to it. Next up on the list is the Biosan Squalane and Phyto Retinol Serum. If you guys have been watching me for a while and you've been on the ride with me for my two pregnancies, you will know that this is a product that I used consistently through both of my pregnancies because you know I love retinol, but I couldn't actually use retinol while I was pregnant or breastfeeding. So this was kind of one of my lifesavers because I was looking for something that could at least take that place of a retinol. It has Bacuchiol in it, so this was actually the first product I ever used that contained Bacuchiol. And it also has obviously like squalane that's really nice to just replenish your skin and soothe it, but it also has niacinamide in it. And this was actually one of my first introductions to niacinamide and I didn't realize it at the time when I started using this. It was this like 2016 when I was pregnant with my first child. I picked this up because I was looking for something that could be an alternative to retinol. And I'll tell you guys, I don't think Bacuchiol really takes the place of retinol, but it was nice to have an ingredient like Bacuchiol. It's been shown to mimic some of the positive effects of retinol, but it's not truly a retinol alternative. So I would scratch that from your mind that you're gonna get the same exact results, but it does make your skin look radiant and nice. And then I had this realization that the niacinamide in it too really helps to keep your skin looking bright. It soothes it, it helps with your oil production. It's just a really nice product to have in your skincare routine, especially when you are pregnant. And I'm not saying that people that aren't pregnant shouldn't try it. If you've got sensitive skin, if you're just looking to like ease into, maybe you haven't used a retinol yet and you wanna see how your skin reacts to something that's kind of like a, a first step, this is a really nice one. And you can see that I have a little travel size of it. That's because right now it comes in a holiday set at Sephora. It's the Biosance Uplifted and Bright set. It comes with some of my other favorite products from Biosance, one of those being the Squalane and Omega Repair Cream. Again, you have heard me talk about this so many times. This is one of my favorite moisturizers of maybe all time. The texture of this is nice. I feel like most skin types can use it. It has Squalane in it, which is another one of my favorite ingredients. It's just the perfect moisturizer when you don't know what else to reach for. The set also comes with a full size of the Biosance Squalane plus vitamin C rose oil. What makes this really nice is that it has THD in here, which is a derivative of vitamin C. So it's fat soluble, it's more gentle on the skin, but it helps to really brighten and repair your skin. It's a beautiful antioxidant. And because it's a squalane oil, you can put this on before or after your moisturizer. I actually prefer to put this before my moisturizer. I like squalane oil, it's really light. It's actually a little bit hydrating. It's just a nice oil to add into your skincare routine. And if there is any oil I would add into my skincare routine that I recommend for most skin types, even people with oily skin, I think squalane is the oil to add into your skincare routine. Next up is a product that I did not expect to love as much as I do, and it is the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Acid Serum. You know, there are hyaluronic acid serums and then there are like amazing hyaluronic acid serums. And it's really hard to decide like, well, what makes the difference? And this is one of the ones that I'm like, this is amazing. It does so much more than your typical hyaluronic acid serum. So first off, it has five different molecular weight hyaluronic acids. So it has like a low, very low, high, very high, medium weight. And what that means is it's hydrating your skin at different layers. And what hyaluronic acid does is it really, it attracts water. So it's a plumper for your skin. And I love that they, call it plum plump. What makes it really truly different though from other HA serums on the market is that it has three different plum extracts and plum extracts are high in antioxidants, high in vitamin C. They each have their different part in this serum and it just feels so nice and hydrating and brightening to the skin. And when you put it on your skin, you just get this beautiful glow immediately. It's a beautiful product and it's probably my favorite product that Glow Recipe has ever made. So I really recommend this one. Next up, on the list, you've heard me talk about this so many times before. This is the Ula Hendrickson Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. You guys know that I'm all about a vitamin C. I think that most skin
skincare routines need a vitamin C serum in the morning just because it gives that brightening. It helps to amplify the effects of your sunscreen so you're protecting your skin more. And it's just a nice ingredient to add in. But for some people, they don't wanna use an L-ascorbic acid for several reasons. It can be unstable, it can be irritating to the skin, they don't see results from it, it's hard to pick out which ones are actually working for you. So this one is nice because it has this vitamin C derivative in it that is a little bit newer to the scene. I think a lot more people are interested in using that in their products. I feel like Ulla Henriksen was kind of like one of the first to really make it a big deal. And what this vitamin C derivative does is it's fat soluble, so it absorbs into your skin a little bit better. It helps to brighten your skin. You get all of the same effects of the antioxidant properties of L-ascorbic acid, but it's not irritating to the skin. They also use a high percentage of it. It's 15%, which doesn't always matter, but it's really nice to know that they really put a focus on that ingredient in here. And because it's not L-ascorbic acid, most skin types can actually tolerate it. But then the other thing that I love about this is that it has PHAs in here. And PHAs are starting to become one of my favorite types of ingredients. At first I wasn't as interested in it because you know you hear people talk about PHAs as a really gentle way to exfoliate your skin. But as I learn more about PHAs, what I really love about them is that they're very hydrating to the skin and they're also great at anti-aging. There's a process that causes our skin to look like it's aging quicker called glycation. And what PHAs do is it helps to slow down that process. So you can then move into more of like a well-aging, slower, slower kind of aging process. You know, they're not miracle ingredients, obviously. This is more like the effects that you get over time of using them. So you're getting that major hydration. You're getting just a very light exfoliation every time you use it to the point where it's so gentle that I can use it in any of my routines, even if I'm using other exfoliating acids or even retinoids. It's just a nice ingredient and I think PHAs are only gonna get more and more popular because we're finding out so many more uses of PHAs. So it has a high percentage of PHAs in here and then it also has hyaluronic acid in here so it's extra hydrating and one of my other favorite things about this is that it has the banana colored pigment in it. And so you're using it in the morning and what that essentially is, is it has a luminizer in it and it just gives your skin this beautiful glow that helps to look nice under makeup or on its own. It's a beautiful, beautiful product. It feels nice on the skin. This is one of my favorite vitamin C's that I have ever used and I'm so glad that I found it. Of course, I'm gonna talk about a retinol product in this bestsellers list and the one that I picked out is from the Inky List. This is their retinol. That's what it's called, it's very straightforward. What I like about this is it's more of like a gel texture and I've talked about other retinols, like one from Burst and stuff that have that like gel-like texture. I know a lot of people, what they don't like about retinols, especially if they have oily skin, is that a lot of retinols come in a cream form and so it's very confusing on how you use it. So people are sometimes asking for something that's a little bit lighter and gentle on the skin and that's what I really like about this. It has 1% retinol in it. It also has a small percentage of Gran Active retinol in it, which is very, very gentle to the skin, but I think the combination really just boosts the effectiveness of the retinol and the, you know, like collagen synthesis and the skin cell turnover and everything. You're just getting better results with it. They say on the website that this is a stabilized form of slow release retinol, which tells me that it's encapsulated, or at least that's what I think it is. It's not irritating to the skin. So for a 1% retinol serum, that's actually really nice to know that it's not going to feel like you're suddenly flaking and turning red. It can still happen. You know, skincare is very, very personal, so you don't wanna just like go full speed with this if you've never used retinol before, but this is a very nice light retinol serum that comes at 1% and has that little bit of Gran Active in it that I think is just nice to add into your skincare routine. It's a really good price, it's very affordable. So this is just a really nice overall, very straightforward retinol to add into your skincare routine. Next up is a product that I have never mentioned before because I only just started using it, but I think it's really interesting and I'm liking the results so far. It's the Isle of Paradise Self Tanning Drops for the face and body. The reason why I like this is because, well, first off, backstory, I, I'm not usually one of those people that's like, oh, I need a self tanner. Or I wanna look like I've got some sun-kissed glow. I like to be bronzy, but I use a bronzer usually, but I've noticed like this year especially, I think it's like after my last pregnancy, my iron levels really dropped I became very anemic and I've just taken on this like pale kind of look to my skin so it goes up and down and even though I'm taking like my supplements and everything you know I feel like I can see it in my skin I, I'm looking a little bit paler than usual so I was like 
I want to start using a self tanner, but I hate the look of like a, a typical self tanner where you start to get that orangey color or you can look a little bit blotchy or it just looks uneven or, you know, like as it starts to fade, it looks gross. I wanted something that would be a little bit more even. So these really stood out to me because the way that you use them is you take a couple of drops. You can put just a couple of drops or you can put up to like, I think like 15 or 16 drops into your just typical moisturizer. What I do is I just put a couple pumps of moisturizer and then I put a couple drops and I mix it together and then put it on. So for me, it's turned into like a gradual glow instead of a tanned kind of look because that's not what I was going for. I have not used it on my face, but I am going to start using it on my face because now I've like gotten it out, out of my system to try it with my body. So now I'm like brave enough to start putting it into my facial moisturizer. I will point out though, it does have a few oils in it. One of them being coconut oil. So it could end up being something that I absolutely hate for my face. I don't know yet, but I love the concept of it and I love the way it's made my body look so far. I also don't love the actual scent of the formula. There is a strong fragrance to it and it's kind of perfumey to me, kind of like a tropical perfumey scent, which I am actually usually down for that kind of a scent, but this one for some reason isn't my favorite. It's not bad though, you can tolerate it and it doesn't leave that gross kind of self tanner scent as it dries down either. So these are really nice. They're easy to incorporate into your skincare routine. If you're like me and you're not a self tanner pro, this is super easy to use. Next up is this from Fresh. This is their Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. There are two reasons why I wanted to point this one out to you. One, if you want like a light moisturizer, a light cream, but you don't want it to be just a pure gel, which I feel like is the big trend right now. It's like everybody's coming out with a gel moisturizer. This one actually is more of a hybrid to me. They call it a face cream, but it has kind of like a hybrid feel to it. When you scoop it out, it feels creamy. It feels luxurious, but then it dries dries down nice and light so people that have oily skin can also really enjoy it. It has something that they call time release hydro patches. I don't exactly know what that means, but I can confirm that this feels very plumping and hydrating to the skin. And then it has a little bit of an occlusive feel to it. What I like about this is something that a lot of people might not like, but I think it's also a reason why people love it. And that's because it has a beautiful rose fragrance to it. This is one of those products where if you love to have that like scent of rose on your skin. If you like to go to sleep smelling like roses and you want that hydration and that lightness to your skin, this is a beautiful moisturizer. I love the texture of it. And when I think about the rose collection from Fresh, it's kind of one of like the first ones that I ever was like really into. It felt very luxurious to me. The second reason why I wanted to bring this one up is because right now you can get it in another holiday set. This is the Fresh Rose Hydration Skincare Essentials set. And in that set, you get the full size of the face cream. And then you also get the full size of the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. And this is a product that I don't recommend too often, but I know so many people love it. It. And the reason for that is it's very hydrating. If you love the scent of rose, this is very, very rosy. It has rose fruit extract, which is something that I like about this. It feels like it's hydrating, but also very plumping to the skin. It feels very light, but it has like this plush texture to it. And it feels like it's almost like softening your skin when you use it. But truly this is for the rose lovers. If you love rose scented products for your skincare, this one is beautiful. It has the rose petals in it and it feels very light and hydrating to the skin. Next up is this, it's a little bit newer and newer to my skincare routine. It's by Youth to the People Dream Eye Cream. And what I love about this is the texture of it. You guys know that for me, like eye creams are essentially moisturizers in a little pot, but they can be very luxurious moisturizers in a pot, if that makes any sense. Like, you know, you might want to use something that's a little bit lighter as your main moisturizer for your face. And then you can really boost that moisturization with an eye cream. And you guys have heard me say like, I I tend to use eye creams in the morning when I'm going to wear some makeup because I want it to really just plump up that area around my eyes. I don't want my makeup to sink into my fine lines and wrinkles and stuff. So I love a really nice, rich eye cream. And this one is that. It has beautiful ingredients in it. It has vitamin C in it, which is kind of a easy no brainer for me. I like vitamin C a lot. It has squalane in it, which you guys have heard me now say a couple of times in this video. I love squalane. I think it's beautiful for all skin types. It also has goji stem cells in it. It has hyaluronic acid in it. And it also has ceramides in it, which is great for the colder months. And it feels 
very nice. It's this beautiful, beautiful texture to it. It doesn't sink into your skin too quickly, and that's what I'm usually looking for when it comes to an eye cream. I want it to give this like texture that feels almost like a primer and really helps my makeup look good, and this one does that. It's beautiful. Dream eye cream is kind of the perfect name for it because it does feel like a dream. It's so, so, so pretty. And last are lip balms. There is first this one from Laneige. This is their lip sleeping mask. I love the vanilla scent, but I really feel like you cannot go wrong with any of the different flavors, I guess, or scents that they have for the sleeping mask. It's nice. It has a beautiful texture. When I put it on at night to go to bed, I like something that's very occlusive. And when I wake up in the morning, I feel like it still is there. And that's kind of what I'm looking for with a lip balm, especially for nighttime, is I want it to feel like that where I wake up and I'm like, oh, my lips still feel very moisturized and hydrated. And that's what I love about this. It has a nice blend of antioxidants in it, nice hydrating and moisturizing ingredients in it. And it also happens to be another one of the Mixed Makeup Facebook group award winners too. And last is this one. This is actually the runner up to the lip balm category for the Mixed Makeup Facebook group awards. This is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. And what I love about it is that it makes your lips look so super shiny. And I like to throw this into my bag and keep it there for, you know, for lip balm during the day because of that shiny look. I actually even feel like I don't need to reapply lipstick or any color to my lips because when I reapply this, it gives such a beautiful shine that it's like, Bam, everyone kind of notices it. It has a vanilla scent to it also, so you guys obviously know I like vanilla. It reminds me of being a teenager. One of my favorite perfumes was called Vanilla Fields. I'm aging myself by saying that, but I have always loved vanilla since that scent. So obviously my two lip balms, I like when they have a vanilla scent to them. So this has a natural vanilla scent to it. It has shea butter in it. It has murumuru, murumuru seed butter in it. It has some really nice vegan waxes to it. So it's a nice lip balm. It's easy to use. My only like complaint is that sometimes I take a little bit too much when I, you know, scoop it out because of the type of tube that it's in. But honestly, I just, apply as much of it as I can because I just love the shine that it gives to my lips. So those are the best-selling skincare products at Sephora that I love right now. I highly encourage you to sign up for the Beauty Insider program. Like I said, I will leave a link below in the description box so you can check it out. Have so much fun shopping the Sephora holiday savings event. And if you want, you can find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.